Hey TJ, we're back. It's Delina. And If2 as your main anchors. Hey If2, what spirit day are you most looking forward to next week? I'm looking forward to Wednesday, baby good dads versus soccer moms. Not me though, I can't wait for a Tuesday, Valentine's Day. What color are you going to be wearing? No comment. <laughs> Anyways, let's send it to sports. What's up folks, it's Ben 10. What it do, it's the man Mildew. With the sports. We have quite the sports news for you today. So let's get rolling. We had our swim and divers compete at States yesterday. They will also compete this weekend. Congratulate them in the halls. Boys wrestling has a regionals meet tomorrow and Saturday. If the team dominates, they will go to the States meet. Wish them good luck if you see them. Last night our basketball teams beat West cause we're the best. If they win this Saturday, your TJ Spartan boys basketball team Will be league champs. In professional news, the Nets traded Kevin Durant and TJ Warren to the Suns in exchange for three players and four first round picks. Holy cow, what a league changing trade. Nuggets are still on top. Nuggets get to play the Magic tonight. I bet they actually don't have Magic. <laughs> As play the Lightning tonight, it's going to be an electric game. Game looking, same flame. The game in order to change the game. Yeah, tough. That's all we got for you today. Send it to the halls. This weekend, biggest moment of your life. DJ Basketball going head to head. It's the peak. It's fun night. I feel good. They're going to win. Saturday's league championships. Hope we get the dub against Vista Peak. It's also our senior night. so There's no way they can win. Wait, we're gonna shut them down. Oh yeah, we're all ready. We're pre we practicing hard with Coach Lame, and I think, I think we'll get the job done. Wait, there's no way we can win, or the other team? The other team. We're gonna shut them down. So, the, what do you think the score is gonna be? Prediction. Hundred zero. That's that's what I was thinking yeah, also. So there's, there's no, there's not any way that we're not gonna win. Yeah. The championship happens this weekend on Saturday. You can come to the gym and see it happen and go down. The league championship, come for it. We also have wrestling. Be there if you can. Thanks, sports. On another note, citywide honor choir students need to report to the choir room at lunch. You will eat and then load to the bus for rehearsal. Please have your music, pencil, and water bottle. Your chaperone will be there to take attendance. Also, there will be an H NHS meeting this t today in room 125, 125 during, during lunch. lunch. They will be making valentines for the residents of Julia Temple Center Care Facility. That sounds like a lot of fun. It sure does. Now let's send it off to news. Hey TJ, it's Alex. And Jane. The Utah legislator is moving forward with a bill that would require parental consent for children to make social media accounts. Sounds like Salt Lake security to me. <laughs> I can see the go-to signal. Let's send it to them. You know, I can't help but feel like something's missing, out of place. Isn't something wrong with this picture? I just can't put my finger on it. Well, if I can't remember, I guess it wasn't important after all. Wait a minute. Has that milk carton always been there? How did I get here? Do 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 mic check. All right, cool. We're good. God, what is oh he doing? My God. He did that. He did. He did it. Oh my God. What? John Fetterman, senator of Pennsylvania, was recently hospitalized last night due to dizziness. <laughs> this raised concern among his doctors due to a stroke earlier this year. Wonder who his doctor was. Maybe it's Doctor Oz. <laughs> Loser. With that. I'm off to make my mother's delectable NyQuil chicken and enter the f third realm. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks, news. To all the ladies who are interested in golf, there will be a girls' golf interest meeting in room six during lunch today. You really should stop by and see what it's all about, and no experiences is needed to join. Guess what, TJ? There's a boys' volleyball open gym. Whoa, I didn't know we had that here at TJ. Yeah, we do. And for TJ's new boys volleyball team, there is an open gym scheduled for Friday. On screen, you, will, you can see the details, but it will be again at the 303 Volleyball Academy on Friday night from 7.30 to 9.30. Well, that's it from us, TJ. Let's send it off to Admin, the best segment on the Spartan Edition. Peace. Peace.
be kind students and 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 learn. Spartans, good morning. Buenos dias. Uh, Mr. Rocha here. Um, some of you know, some of you don't, but I'll just say it outright. I was a Spartan too one day, maybe about 14 years ago or so. Uh, class of 2012, you know, we were, we were the doomsday class. Um, but I also did challenge day. So for you juniors and seniors, uh, challenge days, like uh, maybe the perception of what it is, you know, I could just speak on my experience. Um, I saw the sides of people I thought I'd never see. You know, I had a friend I was close with and he was always hard. You know, he was always serious and nobody saw him like cry or sad or no one punked him. He punked people. And I saw that kid that day and it, like I saw a side of him that I never seen before. And it was really cool bonding, you know, and it's a moment, you know, I mean, think about it this way. You don't have class. Haha. <laughs> you just get to hang with some people and, and bond in a different way. So um, anyways, Maybe another motivation for Challenge Day. Si los, los que no quieren ir a Challenge Day, también les puedo dar esta motivación. Porque es una experiencia muy bonita, en serio. Um, tell a teacher, you'll go to Challenge Day if they come to a capoeira class with Mr. Rocha. Oh, Eva, eh. Oh, Eva, eh, camara. Very bad manero. Es mi compañero. Es mi caminar. All right. Ashe, TJ, take care. Bon dia. So, the information. Capoeira, Thursdays, 3 to 4.30, room 222. Today, after school, 222. How has your counselor helped you? The time my counselor has helped me is picking my classes and um, also helping me um, with some of my grades and some emails from my teachers or my grades. Hey TJ, it's Amadi. Viola. And Noah from Women's Empowerment. Today and tomorrow after school we will be selling Galentines. You might be wondering what a Galentine is. Galentine's Day is a day to celebrate your friends. And it is the day before Valentine's Day. In each bag, it will have cookies and other goodies. They'll be delivered Monday during third period. They are only three dollars. Bye, Bye, one TJ. TJ. Hey there, TJ. Good morning. It's Mr. Long with the History of the Week. So, events that happened in this week in the past. In 1909, the NAACP is founded in 1818. Chile gains its independence from Spain. In 1895, Babe Ruth, the former home run champion, was born. And let's see, in 2012, sadly, R&B titan Whitney Houston passes away during this week. In 1809, Charles Darwin, the man that was famous for the theory of evolution, was born. And all the way back in 46 BCE, Julius Caesar defeats his rivals that he was competing against for sole control over at the Roman Republic. Those are your events from the past, so you don't forget the past. Enjoy your day, TJ. Look, all I'm saying is that I think it'd be pretty easy to beat a bear in a fight. I mean, just because they think they're big and scary. I mean, that's it, really? Dude, don't keep gasconading like that. <laughs> Who runs the world? Girls. Super rich kids with nothing but loose ends. Start my day up on the roof. There's nothing like this type of view. I might kill my ex. Not the best idea. <laughs> Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, I just keep him. Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday, I just keep him satisfied. All of me loves all of you, loves your perfect imperfections. <laughs> I want to feel the heat. 
with somebody.